okay hi everyone so in this short video we are going to look at how to identify region of inequalities okay uh, they have been asking at least one or two at least one question on inequalities for past few exams and mtps as well so you should be ready with this because it is a very easy chapter and it is like bonus mark if such question comes in exam okay so let's see in short how to identify area region of inequality first we'll take a simple example let's say we have something like this 3x plus 4y is less than equal to 12. Okay. Now generally in exam they will give the graph. Right now we will have to draw the graph. We will draw a rough graph. Understand? How do we identify points for the graph? This is also important and required in many questions. Okay. Fine. So you know questions where you have to identify feasible area, the uh, corner points, such uh, kind of questions need this. So if x is 0, how much will be y? So first convert this to equation 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. If x is 0, that means 4y is 12, so y is 3. If y is 0, x is 4. Right? So we have 2 points 0, 3, 4, 0. Let's draw them in rough. Okay. 4, 0, that is 4 on x axis and 0 on y axis. So this is 4, 0. Similarly, this is 0, 3. When we join these two, we'll get a line. So this is the line for this in, uh, equation. Okay. But now we need to identify, since this is less than or equal to 12, we need to identify whether the region is below this line or the whether the region is above this line. Okay. Now you might have remembered it like this, understand? You may remember it like, you know, you may have remembered it like it is less than, so area is towards origin. Okay. But that is a wrong way to remember because it will not always work. Sometimes it will give wrong answer. Understand carefully. How we can check is, now let's take one point below the line. For example, this 0, 0, right? That is a point below the line, right? We have this line 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to 12. What will happen to it if we put 0, 0, right? If x is 0, it will be 0 plus y is 0, 0 is less than or equal to 12. That means 0 is less than or equal to 12. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. 0 is less than or equal to 12. That means area is towards this point. Okay. Similarly, we can check in opposite way also. For example, for example, let's say we take a point here. Let's say something like 4, 5. Okay, now that is obviously above the line. So let's check what happens for 4, 5. 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to 12. Now we are saying x is 4, so 3 into 4, 12. Plus y is 5, so 20 is less than or equal to 12. So obviously 32 is not less than or equal to 12. This is wrong, right? That means area is not on uh, above side, area is not on upper side, area is on this towards origin side. Okay? That is how you should always calculate or always find the area. Now, if the line is like this in first quadrant, then it is easy. Then you can do it that less than so towards origin, greater than so away from origin. And if everything is positive. Okay? But you cannot always do it. Let's take another example and now see how to do that. Concentrate. Let's say the line given is like this. In just a second. Okay, I hope it is visible now. Yes. So let's say now we have another line like 3x, let's say minus 4y is less than or equal to 0. Now this was 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to 12. This line is 3x minus 4y is less than or equal to 0. First, let's try to draw the graph. Okay. Now if we take x as 0 then y will also be 0, check, because if x is 0, that means minus 4y is equal to 0. We have to convert this to equation. If x is 0, minus 4y is 0, that means y is also 0. And let's say x is 4. If we take x as 4, then 4 into 3 minus 4y is equal to 0. So how much will be y? y will be 3, check, because 12 minus 4y is equal to 0. That means 12 is equal to 4y. So y is 3. Fine. So we have 2.0,0 and 4,3. Now the line is going to be like this. 0,0 is origin. 4,3 means 4 and 3 intersection of that. So 4,3. Right. So the line is going to be like this. Now the problem is how do we know less than means on which side? Right. Less than means on which side? We don't know. So again, we can use the same trick. Understand carefully. What is our line uh, inequality? Let me write it here. 3x minus 4y is less than or equal to 0. 
let's check point on both sides you don't need to check on both sides you have to check just on one side let's say this point what is this point 0 comma 3 let's substitute that x is 0 that means 3 into 0 0 minus 3 so 12 is less than or equal to 0 check minus 12 is less than or equal to 0 is that correct yes that is correct that means area is on this side okay. if we check for this point it will not work see this point is 4 comma 0 right so 3x minus 4y is less than or equal to 0 let's put that 3 into 4 minus 0 is less than or equal to 0 12 is less than or equal to 0 obviously this is wrong right so area is above the line in this case so in this case you can identify directly you know where the area is for a particular line don't just go by less than or greater than because that will not always work that worked for first example but that will not work if the line is going through origin or if the line is in another quadrant or something like that so the best way is pick a point from one side check if that satisfies the inequality if yes that is the reason if no that is not the reason that's it okay so i hope this is clear to everyone now this graph will be already given you just have to identify area right so in exam it is very simple you have equation you have graph you just take one point check whether it is satisfying if yes then that is the area that's it okay fine so for now let's stop and maybe i'll uh, i'm trying to shoot another trick video short trick video in uh, some time okay so i'll meet then bye everyone